Hi, welcome to a first look at UVI Falcon 3 part 2. In part 1 we played some sounds and presets from Falcon 3, but today let's go under the hood and do some sound design with the tools of Falcon 3. Now Falcon, as you probably know, is a massive plugin, so please let me know in the comments if there's uh, something specific you want us to look at in a future episode. My name is Matthias, let's take the tour. Let's look at uh, the sound engine a little bit uh, behind Falcon 3. As we mentioned earlier here, we have the info pad, <laughs> info tab, not pad, info tab, the edit tab, effects, events, mods, and uh, mappers. And in the edit tab, that's uh, where we find the oscillators and sound generators. And the effects is, uh, of course, where we have all the effects. And if you press this layer, you will see the effects for that specific layer. So there's some guitar boxes tape echo, a digital EQ and a few other things. But uh, at the root we have uh, the plug generator. And then there's the script of course. But uh, to see the script we need to go to the events tab. And there we can see this uh, Euclidean generator or Euclidean pattern generator. Which is a fun way to compose, compose music with different uh, rhythms beating against each other. So let's look at the next layer, soft harmonics. That's just a plain pluck. So all these layers also goes, goes through the whole uh, effect chain above here with all these uh, filters, delays and stuff. So if we disable these uh, top effects, uh, we get a very dry sound. And here's the, the smooth, soft guitar layer. With the arpeggiator. Right, so let's add some uh, some of our own effects on this patch. Let's see what kind of effects we have there. The spark verb. So let's see if we can instead add a effect up here and go into the reverbs and add the i reverb. I reverb. Sound design, sim symbolic hi hat. Quite a lot of creative stuff in here, it seems. Thirty-three meter cathedral. Let's uh, replace it with the spark reverb and some really long shimmer reverb.
Okay, so there's no way to drag the effects uh, from the tree view. We have to drag the effects uh, and uh, replace them, reorder them within the actual uh, effects tab in here. It seems, or at least uh, I don't know how to move these because I can't drag them. So it seems it's uh, just for uh, like selection and, and global overview. <laughs> A lot of reverbs at the same time. So in this sound there's a uh, pluck and uh, the expander filter. Again, I can't double click here to go into the oscillator or the edit tab here, which is a little bit annoying because uh, we can't double click on these other effect parameters to jump into the effect. So if, uh, if the developer is watching this stream, please add so we can double click the sound generators and, and go to the edit tab and actually find the oscillator. Right, so when you load up uh, Falcon, you also get to select from different like starting points. You can start with the analog poly, if that is uh, like the starting point you want to go from when you're designing a specific type of sound, if you're into designing your, your own kind of patches. Or you can go for a mono sound, Supra and the FM sounds. And if you're anything like me, you want to go for, for the granular starting points. Or tape sent. So let's just. Uh, I, I was going to look for a bass, but let's go into uh, the granular metallophone and see what what that brings us. So if we look in the tree view, it brought us an uh, ear cam granular oscillator. It's uh, this one down here. So where do I actually replace the sample? I guess you just uh, drag and drop uh, a file in here to get uh, to get a different sound into the granular engine. Yeah, I'm just uh, going through a few samples here to find something interesting to throw into the earcam granular engine. It almost sounds uh, <laughs> sounds like a choir. There we have it. Add layer. Let's drag some uh, sound generators in there. Maybe I need to add a key group first. So now we can hear that uh, the granulator here is totally out of pitch. Yes, now I think the tuning is uh, much better. Okay, so we want some kind of sequencer on on the on the sine wave. 
Det är Euclidian Tunnel Sequencer. Så so jag think we need to add another layer with the with the sub bass uh, under that uh, the granular sound. Uh, again, I need to add the key group, and then we can have the sine wave. Assigned to host automation, assigned to macro, add new macro. And let's add a macro to the third oscillator, the, the sine wave to the, the sub bass. To the same macro. Yeah, so it's actually quite quick to, to work with uh, with uh, the Falcon engine, except that it's a lot of menus to jump between. But uh, it's the same thing if you're creating sounds in, in Native Instruments Contact uh, Sampler 2. Let's try uh, textures. <laughs> Let's just stack them up here in the same layer. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna close down for tonight. I hope you had a nice time here exploring a few sounds and a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, the sound engine in uh, Falcon 3 here. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Let me know in the comments uh, or in the chat here if you want to see uh, more of Falcon 3 and if there's uh, something specific you want me to look at in in the next uh, session. I think it's a quite nice uh, engine to uh, to create sounds with. A lot of possibilities. Uh, some small quirks that I mentioned earlier here but um, all in all I think it's a great experience and it's a pres pristine sound engine. It sounds extremely nice and the patches that uh, that's included here with uh, Falcon 3 are very very broad, a very broad spectrum. It's uh, it's like a different kind of uh, omnisphere. <laughs>